<laughs> hey, guess what Jack's doing? Come on in. Uh, he's making butter. Can you see? He's shaking it. Well, we bought whipping cream. The, the naturalist one we could get at the grocery store. 33%. And when I used to milk a cow, I always put it, go milk my Jersey cow, bring it up, let the milk settle so the cream went to the top, pour it in a gallon jar, shake it, and we made butter. And that's what he's doing. He's making some I know, butter. But it ain't working like it did before. Now I got a powder. No, you will get it. You will get it. Before it was it, a good it, It's good exercise, too. <laughs> it will go, it will go. So he's getting his exercise, so I don't have to shake it. And we're going to talk about garage sale items for a while here, because the orchids are growing nicely. Some of them are getting nice, long spikes, some of the bigger ones. Some are here. They're all happily growing, and I'm not disturbing right. them. Look at that. It turned to powder. Let me see. Oh, it's going to go to butter. It's almost there. Oh, Show yeah. them up close. It was just whipping cream. It looks like powder now. It was uh, Island Farms or something. I don't know what it was. I can't remember. But anyway, it always. I went, after having your own butter for years, I went through all the butters at the store and I couldn't find one and we found if you just buy the whipping cream, it's cheaper anyway, and then you pour it in there, you let it sit overnight and the next day you shake it and you get butter and you get whey. The, le the leftover from the butter is watery milk looking and you can use it in any baking or feed it to one of the pets. I'm getting whey now. <laughs> Yeah, it's coming. I'm, There'll be butter in there. I'm getting way now. Okay, well, um, Jack and I went grad sailing the other day. And sometimes timing is everything. Because two, this lady comes walking in. And there were two ladies. One was holding one. One was holding the other. And they thought they had two, they thought they had two uh, flower pots. It's nice and clean. Look at this. It's in good shape. So one had that one, and one had this one. And they didn't, they thought this was the top, and it was a vase, and they thought this was the bottom, and they didn't really know they went together. And I said, well, someone had them for a while. You can see some kind of crazying very close here with something that's older, or maybe took a good hit, but it's beautiful. And I says, well, what are you going to ask for those? And she says, well, $12 each. And I said, oh, I'll take that. I have house plants and I won't have any trouble finding something to put in there. So, um, yeah, this part goes down. And then I cut out this some this rubbery stuff you get for lining drawers and putting under mats. It's really good for um, holding things so they stay in place when you're putting one pot on top. Non-slip. Non-slip, yeah. So then, this nice pot goes on top. And you've got a really nice thing. And then I thought, well, what am I going to put in it? And, of course, I had my prayer plan. And it was watering day to day, but I did the orchids, but I haven't done my plant yet because this is one I just got, I think last year. And um, probably needs a bigger pot. So it will go in. <laughs> and it'll sit on the floor and look beautiful. So I'll just take that down. And I'll show you after where I got it and how it looks. So I'll just put that there. Jack can entertain you while I carry this in. Yeah, this is really entertaining. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I have butter. I don't know. Oh yeah, I do. You have butter? I keep shaking and shaking and shaking, and uh, but I already have the butter. So you have to strain it. 
you have to strain it. And then you have but to you can squeeze see it. it. You can see it in there. I don't want to spill it on the floor. Yeah, let me get a strainer. And then, if, I'm not going to be baking, so I'm not going to, um, we'll put it over a bowl, because Maggie will like it. I want to try to put the hammer down a little bit so you can see. Oh, no, no, don't change it. Did you move it? No. Oh, there. So. There what? Okay. He's going to strain it. Dish okay. Hey, you didn't know you were going to learn how to make butter today, did you? <laughs> okay, now this is the whey coming out. Yeah. And that yellow stuff, that's the butter. See, we don't want to come out. It's stuck in there. There it comes. So. There's more in there, but we can spoon it out. Yeah, with the spatula. I'll hold this up. And then you squeeze it to get all the moisture out, but you can see the butter. And you add salt, so you take the whey, which is in here. I don't know if I can show them the whey without spilling well, it's, it. Well, it looks like, it looks like a... Watery milk. milk. Watery milk. I'll put it in a jug, because then you can squeeze this. Um, we didn't know we were doing this, by the way. So... Well, I sure didn't know. I got other things to do. Yeah, well, I know. We'll put it in this. Okay, and you can see it. And then you can dump the butter in here and squeeze off. There's the way, everybody. Beautiful for baking. Um, we're on a special or diet. Or you want to make, uh, like, uh, uh, pancake, uh, sour, uh, yeah. sourdough, sourdough or, or anything, uh, anything. Or milk pancakes. Any muffins, anything. It's With great. Buttermilk. And it'll make it taste better. So then, Hold what? It. So then you could use your fingers. You can take a spatula to this. There's butter in here. Yeah, but um, we're encroaching on my time here. <laughs> yeah, we'll take a spatula. There's butter in there. And, and then what you do is, I need a spatula. Well, we didn't know. You never know what we're going to be up to. So you can take that off the spoon. And then you can get the rest of this out of here. You want some salt? Yeah. The salt will, will help um, the moisture come out. And it's good for the flavor. So we've got um, sea salt in here. Redmond's salt is really good. That's yeah. what this is, right? Oh, no, not the dark one. That's sea salt. Oh. <laughs> so then you just have to start patting it, and you get more Mix milk out of it. There. So there you go. Well, I talked about your corn. Oh. Okay. There. Okay, we didn't know we were going to do that. And I have got a few orchids here that... Um, I got my big one. I just put some here because it's kind of nice to have them right in front of you, right in the kitchen, right where you're making your butter. <laughs> and uh, so I got them there, my oldest one, and nice big flowers and a few more. But they're all coming out and, you know, we have to do something different while we're waiting for all this to happen. So I'm going to take the camera off and go show you over here. Okay. okay, I'll show you Jack's butter. Look at this, everybody. <laughs> There's Jack's butter. <laughs> he phoned his brother in a while, and he said, no, you better go make some butter with your niece, with our niece, with his granddaughter. <laughs> it's good education. And it's delicious, you guys. So, you know, it's a fun thing to do. So, now, over here, I did finish my painting. And I had, let me turn the light on, maybe. Talk about unorganized confusion. There we are. Um, I had, this frame had some pieces of wood coming down, and I thought it would look nice. But it didn't, so Jack cut them off, 
and then I had to paint the frame. So it's now finished. It's a mirror uh, with an Alaska type painting. So I did that. And then when we were at the grad, uh, we were thrift storing the other day at a different thrift store, Jack found all these spoons and it was marked from $8.50 to $6.50. And we always think out of the box and this is a beautiful frame. Very old. Here, he's going to open it. And, and it opens, but there's lots of depth in here. So um, this is going to turn into probably three-layered glass painting. The spoons will come out and we'll give them to someone that likes spoons or put them on Facebook. <coughs> and he'll do some work. And it can go like this, not like... It, you know, it's going to be a beautiful frame. It's very vintage. It, I mean, the frame. But, you know, if you just think of spoons when you see it, then you're probably going to end up disappointed. So that is part of our fun winter projects. So we've done that. And we've made butter. <laughs> and I'm going to show you a close-up of the orchid. I've lost track. I didn't know he was making butter today. <laughs> I was on the counter. Yeah, they're beautiful. They are beautiful. I know I'm not always opening a new orchid because I can't really take any more orchids. Now the last one I, I videoed that I put in this pot I've watered it yesterday because I had watered on Tuesday, but I made the others wait till Wednesday, which is my normal watering day. I see what the oldest one is getting a little limp, but nothing is blasting. They all look good, and I'm watering it twice a week. And I haven't opened it up yet, so probably next week I'll have a look how it's doing. Because I didn't today. We've been very busy. So um, I'm thinking of going into the our little glass aquarium here. And um, I just take a turkey baster. And I suck all the water out. And then I put in fresh. And because there's charcoal mixed in with the rocks. Keeps it really nice. So things are going good in there. And over here, there's lots. I've got some nice long spikes coming. And this one up here. All of my orchids, except the latest ones, are they're all in spike. So we're, we're doing good that way. Any that flowered in the summer are the only ones that really are not in spike. So now I'm going to take you in and show you how the flower pot looks. So it looks nice. This is kind of my little plant corner. <laughs> and things are going good. They're all growing. I keep turning them. I it, it, try and keep them. It, they won't get all bendy like this if you put them back in the same place, facing the same direction all the time. But I, I quite often do not do that. So anyway, now uh, I'm going to... Oh yeah, I should show you this. This one is kind of overgrowing this plant, but it is actually going to flower. Huh. So anyway, I am going to take you out in the patio, so I'll be back in just a minute. So here we are out at the patio because we are having a four season, not a four season, but it's a patio, but it's a covered patio with all windows and screens. These are all the, Jack took all the old uh, railings down and some are glass 
and we're going to sell them on Facebook. So this will be a patio door here and just a, a wall there and then all up this side he works on weekends. He's a hard working guy that we've hired and and uh, so it's waiting till next weekend and and then all windows with screens on one side all that we can open will go all along here and then as you get to the front the windows are lower so we can see sitting down and so every weekend a little more will get done our carpenter is so tidy he's very tidy and he's very hard working and that would be his that's funny because when I went on water taxi it was called Freedom Boat Rentals and Water Taxi <laughs> anyway so I just thought I'd share that with you and I can put curtains up or I can we can sit out here and have morning coffee or breakfast with no bugs bothering us so it should be nice so bye for now and it was a little strange video but that's how it happens <laughs>